Hey guys, Masamaki here with another video for you. I thought I'd try my hand at Firewatch. I honestly don't know what this game is about. I remember seeing it a while back when it was announced, and I was like, "All right, that sounds interesting." I get. I don't even remember what it was about, so I don't even. I don't know if it's interesting. There's four save slots. I didn't see any difficulty or anything like that, so I don't know what you do in this game. Also, I'm playing this with a mouse and keyboard. I don't know if that's going to hinder my experience or not. Is my mouse cursor is still on the screen. That's a little odd. In cooperation with Panic Inc. Oh no, there it goes. It disappeared. But when I move my mouse, it comes back! Boulder, Colorado, 19 1975. You see Julia. Okay. Oh, I gotta hit a button. She's about your age. Late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> oh, I gotta actually pick? Okay. Uh, I'm drunk, so... I feel you're pretty is probably the best option. You, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You replied, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. What? What happened? <laughs> Drunk guy comes over to you. Oh, you're pretty, girl. <laughs> Use objects. Ooh, got a backpack. Alright. Oh. Oh, you got zoom! Oh, shit! Oh. I guess I, I don't have free reign. I can see my feet! I love games that let you see your feet. So yeah, I, I assume this is like one of them there uh, walking simulators. I have... Oh, I gotta, I gotta get in the truck. I'm gonna look around. Are there like hidden collectibles and shit? Let's throw that in the back of the truck. I mean, there was space in the front. You could have put that right next to you. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You must move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Fair enough. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I, I, I like beagles. But, um, I'm not convinced with the name Bucket. Like, we could get a beagle. But I'd rather not name him Bucket. Because that sounds terrible. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Because beagles are amazing. Who doesn't love beagles? They're, they're like, one of the top-tier dogs. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. That is true. Kids are very stupid. <laughs> I like how you said they're not very smart. That's basically kids are stupid. And they're not good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Um, I guess that's fine. I have no problem with kids. That's, pre that's just pretty cool. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. So we're, we're... Oh. This game looks pretty cool. Like, aesthetically, that's what the... That's the word that all the... All the journalists like to use. Where's my bag? Aesthetically, like, it's a very pleasing game to look at. Uh, warning. Uh, it's... 
thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. It's a permanent backcountry trail. If you got, you're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Do not forget to check in. Check. Uh, it's a map, two forks. Oh yeah, I forgot you can zoom in. Uh, Thunder Canyon. This is all useless information that I'm focusing very heavily on. You can actually legit read this. There are games that like put signs and shit up, and you can barely see what it says. I'm actually playing this on Ultra. It's, it's not that hard of a game to run, to be honest. Uh, 1980. I mean, it's not gonna look as good on the video because YouTube compresses the shit out of everything. Uh, 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, uh, confrontation in regards to her having a fun time? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with her going out and having fun. Maybe she was chilling with, with her lady friends. Um, I personally, let's... I'm role-playing as this particular man. I personally would not get mad, but I wouldn't ignore her either. I'd be like, so what's, what's up? What happened? Where, where were you? I'm gonna pick you ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pillow of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Why? Why don't you just ask her what happened? I skipped ahead a little bit to read these but before I read this and I saw you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model <laughs> Julia still likes to draw it's 1981 by the way she draws plants from her research she draws all the places you go she draws you you pose and flex like he-man I like I like the frolic like a Victoria's Secret model so I'm gonna pick that one Julia was right you are very pretty you can also hit space bar to do that, but I feel it's easy. Whoa! Mountain climbing and shit. Do I ever get to run? Like, this is like the full definition of like walking simulator. I'd like to run. At least we could call it a running simulator by that point. Pretty game though. I think I already said that. It's it's a nice looking, graphically appealing game. Uh, two forks, lookout tower, eight more miles still. Does it say still on it? No, I guess that's just him saying that in his head. Gotta parkour. Oh yeah, I can finally do stuff. Can I just jump anytime I want? 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Bibob fuck. Dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Uh... I don't know how either of those would work. The dude's got a knife and he kicked my dog. I'm, I'm gonna go up to him and scare him away? You scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three... Three... You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Um, okay. I don't know what exactly is occurring for me making all these choices. Do the, does the game actually change? Am I, am I changing anything by choosing these paths? Probably not. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Uh, Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not convince her to not take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Uh, I mean, I feel like she should take that job. It's, it's, it's a great job, apparently. It says it right there. Great job. No reason to force just just because you want to have kids. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not the reason why he's like, Yeah, you should probably stay. Eh, just go. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. 
You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. I mean, Connecticut's not that bad. <laughs> it's just move, move there with the girl. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember if she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Julia, what are you doing? She was found crying in the stairway. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Uh, that second option. But see, the problem is that there's these options, but they don't really make any sense. This is why I'm kind of wondering if they actually do anything in terms of how the game plays out. Let's, let's get after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Keep it a secret from who? I mean, you both know it. You're keeping it a secret from everybody else. I feel like that's not the best way to go about it. Oh, we got a journal. I can't move. <laughs> I'm forced to pick up the journal. Gold man. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! That was a Jeez. I'm try I'm trying to regain my composure. And I'm laughing so hard I'm like coughing up my lung right now. Oh, okay. I I think I'm good. Ah, uh, I plugged out my phone. That's nice. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. That image! <laughs> oh, man. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. No, you were like an assistant at Yale. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. What? You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. <clears throat> 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care home that sits with you for a couple of months. Ah, see, this is a problem. It's like, I could go send her to 24-hour full care, but, like, she's supposed to be my wife, and... I must take care of her. Just looking up at the sky. Um, you okay, camera? <laughs> It just made me look at my feet for some reason. That was really weird. Um, which way am I going? This way? This way? Did I jump over that? No? I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going, because it was looking up when I started. I assume I'm going up the mountain. Still can't run. I mean, it's not... Hey, it's deer! Bambino, how you doing? There's a buck. Can I take a... No, come back, buck. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. Drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer college basketball in the winter drinking then too you start going out after you put her to bed the first time you do it uh, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone you put a chair in front of the bedroom door you trust that she sleeps like a rock <laughs> uh, let's trust her that she stays in bed you go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street it's nice there 
Over time, you see Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One day, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. It's 1989, by the way. I'm not <laughs> saying the dates when they pop up. Julia's parents take the next plane from Austria. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Mm. You take it. Choice. Oh, loading screen! And it says loading down there too! <laughs> Fuck, game. I thought the icon itself was the loading. And save. Enter the lookout tower. Oh, is there gonna be Wendigos? What was that? Something just popped up when I left. What's that? I was like, ah, oh, is there going to be Wendigos? Because I watched the uh, playthrough of Until Dawn. Okay game uh, for like a one-time play. I know it's supposed to have like multiple endings and stuff like that, but it's, I feel it's one of those games you play it once you never really have to play it again, even if it has multiple endings. All the endings are pretty much similar to one another. It's like the most entertainment I'm getting out of this game right now. The zoom. Again, it's a pretty game. I'm not knocking the visuals of the game, but... Gameplay-wise, I'm bored right now. Like, legit playing of game, I am bored. I'm looking around, though, at, at the uh, beautiful vista that is placed in front of me. That is a uh, Klondike moment right there. Or Kodak Klondike? What would you do for a Klondike <laughs> Klondike moment. Alright. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's what I was seeing. I might end up having to go there eventually. Uh, open Turn on the power. Um, map table. Singular mind. Examine. Oh, look at that hand movement! It was crazy! You bitch slap somebody with this book. <laughs> uh, is this an actual book? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Uh, knowing me, I've never heard of a lot of books. Uh, singular mind. I can't really read it in the dark. I should probably turn the power on. Got it. Yeah, just throw that shit on the floor. I don't read anyway. Flora of the show, sh show shown poster. Flora of the show shown. Yeah, blue spruce, cottonwood, log pole pine, aspen, uh, birch shrub, alder shrub, mock orange, sagebrush. Uh, Prairie Fire, Fila Ray, Golden Aster, Tail Cup Lupine. Hey, we got a light. Take that back. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Ah! Who said it? No. Um. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Shut up! I'm <laughs> trying to read Delilah. Leave me alone. Uh, Dr. Jonas. I know you're oh. there. Your lights are on. <sighs> Turn off the light. <laughs> Shit. Where'd I drop the book? Oh no. Hello, Two Forks. Come back. Pick up your radio. Does my guy have a voice? Hold left shift to activate radio. Uh, oh, you get to select your option. That's cool. I guess. Um, hello? Oh shit, I do have a voice! It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Oh, sick that's burn! a great idea! Go ahead! Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you seriously want me to do work right now? Uh, you killed three ex husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Let's go with that last one. 
For some reason, my guy's very. Oh, I guess because his wife and all that. Shit. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh. No, I was gonna I... pick an option. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I wasn't I expecting that. You. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. Wrong. Sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Get the fuck out of here. Good night. Welcome to the job. What? <laughs> I never even got to choose my options. That's not fair. Day one. Oh shit. Let me take it. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> it's like the worst. What does that say? Uh, Flemington. Volunteer. As a lookout. There's a lot of, um, merchandise of of this game prior to the game coming out. Like, t-shirts and stuff. I was on the website. I try, not today, but, like, prior to the game coming out. I was trying to see what the game was about. And, um... On the website, and they had t-shirts and stuff. And they, the t-shirt stuff were sold out, and I'm like... Are you serious? Is this, is this game that popular even before it comes out? This is a brand new IP and everything. Uh, old Scottish oil soap. This is leg legit Shenmue in a nutshell. <laughs> you pick shit up and just turn it. Okay. Last cleaner. Clean that, bitch. <laughs> I can't even leave. Game, you're forcing me to talk to this lady I don't want to talk to. Alright. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle oh. of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? <laughs> oh man, look a look locate round thing. Look around thing. Locate round thing. I mean, yeah, I see it. It's right there. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefighter. <laughs> Mess with the light again. Look at it, it's me. Osborne. You use this to spot. You guessed it. Fi. What the fuck? What is what? it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! What happened? Language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh... Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, shit. Yeah, I see them. And for a compass. I mean, I'm looking where they were. Why do I need to take my compass I need at? you to confirm. Do you see them? I'm, I'm looking right at them! Are you... I... Seriously, are you seeing this? Yes. Yeah. 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 Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You I was seeing them before, right and the game wasn't letting me them. say anything Fire about it. Fire dangerous through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Psh, I got this. Like, kick the shit out of them. Like, kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take uh, their shit. All yeah, right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, I didn't three, want to throw four. that on the floor. It's I to actually it. that for all of them. Okay. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Alright. Uh she said there's a rope. Rope somewhere. I was half paying attention because I was too busy reading and looking at things and throwing things because I'm a child when it comes to playing video games. Oh god, this is like definition of a walking simulator. I would like to. Oh, look, there's a rat. No, that's a leaf. <laughs> I thought it was a little rabbit. There's a leaf. 
I don't know what the combination is. Did you tell me it? Uh, so are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. What combination again? Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. That's a ter- that means like any person could just come up and open these. That's a really bad code. Also, you can use the scroll wheel to go up and down. I love that. Oh, what's that? It's a note. Um, this was back in 86. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked him- I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Oh, you can keep it. Oh, thank God. Get back in the box! You said don't take all the good stuff. But I mean, there's a granola bar in there. I'll put it back. She said, don't take all the good stuff. What am I copying? Medical wheel. Amazing view. So if I look at my map, will there be like, amazing view? Oh, he, he wrote down the medical wheel being over there. Alright, so... Now I gotta head west to... Where the fireworks are happening? So, I gotta go back the way I came and go up the other path, I assume. I'm not the best at maps and shit. How do I lock this back? I'm just some kids come over here and try to open it. No, no, no! <laughs> Good job. He's gonna die. If you have your head didn't hit a rock, that would've been... That would've been game over. It's also getting dark pretty fast. I know it was like six when we left. Report climbing accident. Oop, that's the wrong button. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. You know something that would have been really helpful? The flashlight? It's getting dark. Well, fuck it, I'm not the maid. <laughs> I'm done. I keep laughing and it's like killing me. I love that response. It's, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. Alright, all clean. There's a bag over there. We got a, oh, we got a bag. Fireplace. It's a pit. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. We got a campfire, I'm gonna have to stomp out. I assume it's out. God damn, oh, whiskey! Shit. Ferret or Irish? No, don't you dare! Save it for later! Probably don't need this in my life right now. <laughs> but it's fair to save it for later! They don't need it. That works. Confiscate. Can't be having that. Clean up all these beer bottles. Beer cans, beer bottles. Same thing. What's this? Two pairs of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're, they're obviously naked. still there, so tell them off and then head back. We got some some bras. Don't even say anything about that. <laughs> this pair of panties. He just picks it up like it's nothing. You don't know what them panties, man. Another pair of panties. Another bra. Oh, 
found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Hey, you guys can't be... Full stereo! Whoa, hey, put that down! You want it, come get it! It was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down, we won't light anymore! <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick! Oh, alright! It's my boombox! Fuck you! you, you Fuck your boombox! Since I got a tiny dick. And it won't be your stereo I wreck! You, fuck you! Yeah, fuck you! Then you're creepy. You can pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. You can't shoot fireworks in the woods. Put some clothes on, naked ninjas. Where are they even going? See, I was gonna be all nice, but she was like, "You got a tiny dick. Fuck you." Hey, that go okay? I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. Okay. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Exactly. Pretty, pretty electric. Well, they give you time yeah, to respond. Have that one. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I was gonna try to respond to him, but I already. What's in here? Hold oh, Why? Flashlight! Ah! Oh, God! Confidence on this map. All right. Hello. I bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> oh my God. This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Huh. Who's that? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just... Creeping? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing yes! anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, saying, bumping yeah, yeah, into yeah. someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, but he was just like staring me down for no reason. He didn't even say a word. He didn't even say, hey buddy, what's up? Shine a flashlight in my face. Say that very disrespectful. Yeah. I hope I'm going the right way, because I haven't looked at the map in a minute. <laughs> I've just been going all along the path that the game has just been putting in front of me. I, I fear he's gonna be in front of me in a minute. Trail closed sign. Well, at least it fell forward rather than backwards. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Why? Well, thank you. Anytime. Like what? Forest Bryans. Get up, Forest Bryans! He looks like the, um. the Fallout dude. So, this generator is all the power I've got out here. 
Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, oh, we don't have much in the way of electronics, so. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I had to hair dry my hair. Frizzy locks. I could never. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Hey, he's doing that. I mean, as guys we do it, but it's not like we're like, Ah, we pee wherever we want. Oh, don't brag about it. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Three points. Two points. Swish. Okay, let's get back in the tower. This tower. Come around. Ah, oh, who fucked with my typewriter? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Who's messing with my shit? Who wants to get dropped? Somebody came in here and broke my window? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Somebody opened my cookbook. <laughs> I guess they wanted to cook some shit. My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. I wonder if it was the, the two girls okay, that did it. Call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The girls at the lake? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out uh, of trailheads. I blame the singular mind. Forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Yay! Hey, we'll much, but at that least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I, mean, I sure don't now. You will. I, I promise. You sure? Thank you! All right, fair enough. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna end it here, seeing how the game works on a day-by-day -day basis. It's a good way to break up the videos, I believe. So, wake up. Uh, I am up. I'm drinking my coffee. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, Thanks wake for up. watching. Leave me alone. You'll have a good day, afternoon, evening, night, and I will see you guys next time.